Matthew 10, 34. Do not suppose that I've come to bring peace to the earth. I did not come to bring peace but a sword. Okay, for I've come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against his, her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. I did not come here to give people medals for memorizing the Bible and not obeying me. I did not come here to appoint some coward that wouldn't stand with me to continue. I came to seal it. I am the end. I am the root and the offspring of David, the idea that's referring to in the Bible, and the bright and morning star. Okay, I am God's mouth. Okay, I am the last king of kings, the last valid martial artist, because everything else is a worldly order. It's a new world order, a new secular order. Novos ordos seclorum. They have accepted a new secular order. The microchips, the pedophilia, the sexual sadism, the scientific racism, the eugenics, all the despicable drugging, all the sabotage, all the despicable ill-gotten gains that a true martial artist couldn't stand. It'd be like a fish out of water. Okay? So God said to Moses, I am who I am. I am obviously who I am. I shouldn't have to tell you a fucking thing. I shouldn't have to say anything about genealogies. I shouldn't have to tell you, hey, you know, a guy with the same last name as the king, because he's my cousin, gave me, or my uncle, one of the two, gave me this statue, presented it to me in person, okay? It's a statue of a woman. Why? Because the entire world should present their women to me. I am the king. When I say obey, those who don't obey don't go to heaven. They die a sniveling beta pedophile. How could anyone for a moment mistake that? If God was here in person and said obey and you didn't, what would happen? When God sends his son and says obey and you don't, what happened? Well, I'm his son, you fucking idiots. Think about it. The king of kings. Who did you think it was? The same tribe as Martin Luther King said for the royal martial art family. Who the heck do you think is the king of kings? My goodness, like I have to explain these things. Idigo, the king of Aguilari. Ares called center, who comes down from the sky. The accompanying moral code. Juju is witchcraft, the hexagram on the Israeli flag. A hex, a witch's hex, versus the martial art order. The root and offspring of David who faced Goliath in single combat. Exodus 15.3, the Lord thy God is a warrior. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. The king is his name. Think about what Lord means in English. The king is his name, the king of kings, the one true king of all of humanity, the martial art king, the one God through nature chose. He who from heaven was appointed, not who fell down to the earth. Shouldn't have to even show you this thing. The things I have to show you because you people of little faith and little understanding. So on April 13th, 2014, Idigo presented this to me. I have to show you my name. There's actually two Idigos. All right, presented by this Idigo and that Idigo. And I am Junior. Okay, I am the namesake. Okay, and also this symbolized their worldly direction. Did they choose Mother Earth? You bet you. Why aren't they standing with me? Because they chose to, com be, to comply with the new order. I didn't. What happens when you have a family of God? What happens when David has a bunch of kids, all of them choose to comply with Satan's new world order, except for one who's a top martial artist? Who the fuck do you think is the Christos? Are you stupid? My goodness. I shouldn't have to say any of this. My sheep should know me. God appointed me. Anybody who's even a little bit in touch with God should know me like this and obey. They shouldn't be able to resist obeying. Their spirit should say, their soul should say, I can't resist it. They should obey. If they don't, you are of your father, the devil. He's a survivalist beta worm. Betas is beast scrambled. I came to bring a sword tonight to unite you with God if you obey. 